this is Kosha Granchad from the Ranchad Law Group. I want to welcome you with our immigration weekly question and answer. Today the question is, what is parole in place? And today for our immigration viewers, I want to t tell you that this is a great option and it is a good tool to add to one of the benefits that you may be eligible for if you are here illegally. So let's first of all review the other things that we've talked about, other options that may be available for you if you came into the United States and you entered without a visa. We've talked about the I-601 waiver if you're married to a U.S. citizen and the I-601A option if, where you can apply for the waiver in the United States but you'd have to leave to do the last step of the process to actually get your green card and you have to go to the U.S. Embassy in order to do that. We've talked about DACA. We've talked about the U visa if you've been the victim of a violent crime. And now we're going to add to our toolbox and we're going to talk about parole in place. Well, what is parole in place? That's probably the question that's running through your mind. And I want to tell you a story about one of our clients where we just filed an application for them where we were going to do an I-601 waiver, but then they became eligible for a parole in place because uh, this individual, he was, uh, he became a member of the armed forces and because of the recent policy that came out for parole in place, we decided that it would be better for him, instead of doing the I-601 waiver, to file for parole in place because now that he's a member of the armed forces, he can apply for a spouse to eventually get the green card. And the nice benefit of parole in place is over the I-601 waiver is that you can apply for a green card if you're eligible in the United States and never have to leave the United States. Where the I-601 waiver, that is an awesome option, especially with the recent passes that Obama made where you can apply for the waiver in the United States, but you still need to leave the United States to get um, the green card and you need to go to the U.S. Embassy for the U.S. Embassy interview. With parole in place, you don't have to do that. So, I actually think if you qualify, of course, depending upon your circumstance, parole in place may be a better option. So, who qualifies for parole in place? Well, you qualify if you're a spouse, if you're a parent, or if you're a child of someone who's in the armed uh, forces, or if you're in the reserves, or if you've been in the armed forces previously. Some of the documents that you need for your application, you need passport photos, you're going to need to show that um, you're actually in the armed forces, you're going to also need to show the relationship to the person who is in the armed forces. And you also want to put discretionary factors showing that you have good moral character, that you're a good person, anything that's going to help your case, showing any kind of uh, benefits that you're bringing to this country that can only help your case. And after you get the parole in place, if you're eligible, and depending upon your immigration status and also upon your criminal record, then you may be able to also apply for the green card. I hope that this session was able to help you today. I invite you to contact our office and ask us any questions that you have. We answer questions like this all day long. You can reach us at 916-613-3553. And I want to acknowledge the fact that you are actually, just by watching this video and looking at your options, you're trying to better yourself. And by bettering yourself, you're bettering your family. And by bettering your family, it's bettering our country. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And we'll see you next week. Have a great week.